The Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform for and about independent artists, music, interviews, and much, much more. Now, give it up, your host, Smiley J. Welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform dedicated to independent artists from various music genres, creating what we all love, and that's music. Chit chat and music is what I do. I'm your show host, Smiley J. Now, as mentioned last week, in observance of Black Music Appreciation Month, for the month of June, I will be featuring some really cool guests who's going to stop through and, uh, you know, they're going to share what Black Music Appreciation Month means to them. They're also going to share some of their experiences, funny moments, and, of course, some gems because y'all know I love to learn. And, you know, I want to make sure that my audience have some takeaways. You know, after all, we should all be open to learning, growing, and improving on what we can do more better. So let's go ahead and get on with today's show. Hanging out with me today in the Artist Zone is Mr. Wayne Bruce, founder and music director of Spur of the Moment Band. He's a former Grammy board member of the DC chapter. Spur of the Moment Band resume reads like a who's who of the R&B and jazz world. The band has developed a loyal following and some famous fans as well, including Will Downing, Eric Robinson, Lettucey, Leda Hathaway, Brian Coberson, Raheem Devon, and a list of others. I just named a few. In fact, let me read a quote from the Velvet Voice herself, Miss Mesa. She says, Spur of the Moment Bands bodies all the goodness of today's music, smooth melodies, beautiful instrumentation, and lots of soul. You guys help me welcome Mr. Wayne Bruce. Welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone. How are you today, sir? I'm well, Smiley J. What's going on, young lady? <laughs> Nothing much. How's everything <laughs> going on with you, sir? Everything is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We opening back up. That's a yes, thing. that's a good thing. That's a yeah, good thing. Man. Yeah, too long. Yes, and people are ready for it. You know, this is a, you know, DMV is a musical town. So, you know, we are ready. Yep, 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 yep. So, listen, as we celebrate African American Music Appreciation Month, you know, formerly known as Black Music Appreciation, I don't know who changed it, but anyway. Right. It's no secret that Black music has influenced all music genres and, and styles. And, um, you know, I thought it would be nice to feature some hometown guests who have been involved in the trenches in the music scene, like your band, Spur, for the moment. <laughs> you guys have worked alongside some music icons that uh right. you know that we're listening to today in our playlist and uh, i just want to you know name a few come on because it's many come on i don't have enough time on this show for all the folks you have worked with okay uh, <laughs> uh 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 stanley clark oh wow, uh yeah. let see yeah the two yeah. late greats george duke and al Jarreau. Uh, yeah wow raheem devon dc oh. come on now hometown Layla Hathaway, who, you know, they say she's oh. my twin. And and, and, oh, look, yeah. and a host of others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been blessed, man. We've been blessed. That's that's nothing but God, you know? It's nothing but God. That man. is beautiful. And you know what? Let me just say this. When I launched the show, mm-hmm. um, I launched it and I featured two home, you know, two hometown talents, which is Spur of the Moment and Anissa Hargrove. And I featured the song Into Deep. And right. can I tell you that episode one is one of the most popular episodes and people are still downloading and listening to that show. Wow, man. That's yes. that's great. That's great. I mean, Anissa is incredible. I mean, we we worked with Anissa for years. I mean, she's one of the true diamonds that have come out of the DMV and, and true talents. And uh, we love her. Yes, and that, you know what, and that's wonderful. I love when artists show each other love, and that's that's always a beautiful and good thing. Now, I know that there are, there are going to be a lot of uh, national events honoring and celebrating, you know, some of the legendary music icons, some that we miss, uh, mentioned mm-hmm. earlier. But I got to ask you, um, before we dive into this whole Music Appreciation Month, I want to talk a little bit about Mr. Bruce. Uh-oh, watch your ministry now. <laughs> 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 now, I, yes, yes. Now I know that you probably listened to a lot of music growing up. Now I, I gotta ask you, 
Mm-hmm. Who are some of the folks that you listen to? Wow. So what people, some people know, some people don't. I was the youngest of five. So in my house growing up, man, I could not touch the stereo. So I had to listen to what was ever on. And I lived in a house kind of like uh, my great, my, my grandparents lived in the house and my great aunt and uncle lived, her sister lived in the house and my mom and my dad, when he wasn't, you know, at camp. <laughs> anyway, uh-huh. y'all figured out. <laughs> and then my older brothers and sisters. So, you know, uh, I would hear everything from, I mean, Lawrence Welk to Mahalia Jackson to Louis Armstrong to then, you know, look at, listening to my parents' stuff to my mom. She would be on Cannonball Adderley or, uh, or uh, Nancy Wilson mm. and all Lou Rawls and Teddy Pendergrass and all that Philly stuff. And then my sisters who were old were in the Motown. And then my brother was into rock, Jimi Hendrix and all that so stuff. You, so and, you, you had a nice mix. Yeah, I mean, and I couldn't touch the cereal. <laughs> so I had to listen to everything. So you took it all in. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. I mean, young with the youngest in the family generally is the sponge. So you have to mm-hmm. watch what you do because they're totally watching you, just like children. They're totally watching. And their teachers are the people more close in age to them. So, you know, my parents were considered the original teachers, but their teachers were my brothers and sisters. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I had to listen to everything. So I listened to everything. So that's a good thing. That's a good It was thing. a wonderful thing. Yeah, It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Now, I don't want to assume that all my listeners know who you are, but they will mm-hmm. by the time we finish. So Come on. I'm here to educate, inform, and learn because, you know, I have some really smart guests to come on the show. And, uh, you know, I'm always learning from them. So we're going to learn something from you. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you have been the musical director on the Capital Jazz Cruise for 13 years and also um, mm-hmm. the MD for all of the music tributes for the annual Capital Jazz Festival. Which, yeah. by the way, is located right here, guys, outside of D.C., where Mary thousands Lovell. of music heads come from everywhere and hang out for a yeah. weekend full of good music, good food and vendors and a lot of cool merchandise. Um, so I got to ask you, uh, what's that? Is that was that really hard, like learning all that music from from all those <laughs> different artists and, and keeping everything intact? And was that stressful and fun at the same time? Yeah, actually, all of those things, all of those things <laughs> you just said. So. Yeah, for the past 14 years, I was music director. You know, pandemic hit. We don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to go back, you know. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things. But I am doing the tributes. It have been the tributes for the past, for the Capital Jazz Fest, for the past, I guess, six years now. Mm -hmm. Five or six years. And uh, this year, uh, it's not in stone, but we're looking at a a Bill Withers tribute. And we got a whole lot of people just lined up for that. And so wow. by the time they're hearing this, we'll be in stone and uh and it looks like Bill Withers. Oh, that's show. gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. Now it's gonna be you know, incredible. Oh my gosh, Bill Withers and all that catalog of music and mm, Yeah. You know, Bill took us to school. We, but look, oh. you, use me. Well, we, well <laughs> wait a minute, not, not that song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, his whole thing was, uh, my, he put me in a room of high class people. Then you act, act real rude. rude to me. Now, how you going to do Come that? On, Come you on, You know now. what? You, you listen, we got to listen to some of them lyrics so we can just understand. I mean, we didn't got real cute black folks now. Listen, yeah. y'all need to go back and listen. <laughs> right, right, right. But uh, I mean, of course, his catalog and we've done we've done, uh, you know, Maurice White mm-hmm. with Earth, Wind and Fire catalog. We've mm-hmm. done Al Jarreau. We've done uh, Phyllis Hyman. And, and you know, just it's incredible being able to pull from those catalogs and craft a show and then have guest artists come on. You know, I mean, everybody. Wow, man. The first year. The first year was Maurice White, and we had Ronnie Laws wow. and, and Take Six and Layla. Take Six and Layla singing mm. together. Uh, Eric Benet, Marcus Miller. It was just, it was mm. incredible. All those good, oh, that's good so, music right there. So, so, you know, we get a chance, you know, I always say we, we get a chance at the spur of the moment to play with our heroes. 
and our music heroes and, and black music heroes, you mm -hmm. know, uh, African-American music month heroes, people who crafted the music that we actually listen to. And is it stressful? Yes. Anything that you want to turn out proper is stressful. It is. Yeah. But, you know, if you love it, you take the stress and you learn from the stress and you don't let it get to you. You know, so the release is in the performance and in the music and in the learning. And you want it to be right. We want it to be right for the people. I mean, we really do it for us and for the people. I mean, we could play this music in our basement, but getting a chance to play it in front of people and get that energy back is what we do it for. Well, you know, and people look forward to that. People are coming from all over the country to mm -hmm. be a part of that. You know, the tribute shows. And I mean, they love it. And you guys are connecting people to music, which is a beautiful thing. Um, so, yeah, I love it. Now, you were also um, you also were part of a band, um, Brian Culberson band, right? Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that band? It was the funk band. It's the Brian Culberson funk band. Okay. You know, it was the first project from the uh, funk record. He did the funk record. And then... He came on the cruise and we provided some support for him, but he saw our performance and asked me to play. And it was playing with one of my guitar heroes, Sheldon Reynolds, who used to play with Earth, Wind & Fire. So it was a chance to be in that band with Sheldon Reynolds and some of the incredible uh, musicians that are on records you hear today. Maurice Fitzgerald, Lamar Jones, Chris Miscal, who was a drummer, and a credible Marquel Jordan. I mean, you, you know what? He he was a, a past guest, and he mentioned you, and he spoke very highly of you. He uh, said you guys were in the band together, but he said a lot of nice things um, about you, and I didn't have to pay him either. Wow! <laughs> but see, no wonder I got that invoice the other day. <laughs> I got that invoice from that dude, man. What? Yes, yes that is so nice. Now, now, you also had a close relationship with the late, great George Duke. Now, oh, yeah. was he your mentor? Well, you know, he was a hero before I met him. And, he, you know, he was my brother's hero. So generally, when you're young, the people your brother likes, you, you tend to like. you like, okay, I want to be just like my brother. And then as I got into music more and realized the greatness of his, just of what he, he was, he became a hero. And then <laughs> upon playing with him, he became a mentor nice. and it was a special relationship. I mean, you know, I always say, uh, I live a charm life with, with spur of the moment, but I live a charm life because, you know, God really looks out and I've been allowed, like I said, to play with my heroes and George mm -hmm. would call me to talk. And it would be awkward because I would be like, I would be like, yeah, this is like the, my hero. I don't know if he knows. And <laughs> one night he was like, hey, man, I just want to hang out with you. I was like, are oh. you kidding me? Like, is this really happened? And and he was fantastic until, you know, the week of his I, I spoke to him the week he passed. And, um, it, you know, I just love him. I still love him. I still yeah, love him. Yeah. I still love him. I know that and, was uh, difficult for you when he Yeah, you know, it was. He he uh that death and um uh, that death in my life and as one of my mentors in the past, but he he definitely for the short period of time, you know, our relationship burned like like a a, a, a hot flame just in that mentorship thing and just a short period of time he was in my life. Uh, he definitely had a profound influence on me. And that's, yes. that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I know that there are a lot of memories that you cherish and you oh, yeah. you want to hold near and dear to your heart. But, mm -hmm. you know, I got to ask you, is there like one quirky thing uh, that you could tell the fans and the folks about George Duke that, um, you know, maybe the fans don't know something funny? Oh, man, he was. It, it's so many to tell how funny it was. But. Whenever anything got sticky where he 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 saw any trepidation on your face and about music, you know, I would be like, ooh, man. He would be like, it ain't gonna hurt long. <laughs> <laughs> that was his key thing. Ain't gonna hurt long. 
She was like, it ain't gonna hurt long. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> hurt, but it ain't gonna hurt long. So, so I can remember uh, we did the opening. It was a big band, a big band hit, and he called me to do. And I mean, it was incredible musicians. Uh, Christian McBride beside me on the bass chair, and Little John Roberts, who played, who's mm-hmm. played with drums. so many people. Mm-hmm. Drums was. Uh, playing drums and uh, George Duke was playing Rhodes and Joe Sample was playing uh, piano and it was one of those things he looks over at me as I'm looking at one of the sheets, one of the pages and he he just looks up, I look at him make eye contact and he whispers ain't gonna hurt long (laughs) (laughs) it's gonna hurt though you know so that's one of the beautiful things I could tell little things I could tell about George man well, thank you for sharing that. I, I really appreciate it because I know how, you know, close relationships. You want to you want to guard all those sacred moments. But so thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, you're the founding member of Spur of the Moment and you guys celebrated your your 30th anniversary last year. But I know that you had to postpone, you know, events yeah. due to this whole COVID fiasco. Now, do we have anything um, scheduled? Because, you know, you got a lot of fans here in, in the DMV. They want to celebrate with you guys. I want the whole you know, the whole world and the DMV especially look for uh, late November. We're going to have a special event and it'll be a reunion and uh, trying to decide now whether we're going to do some virtual or some live things. It'll probably have, it'll probably have some of both in it. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, you're going to have to have both so you can reach all the folks. You know, we here for it. I'm ready for that. Come on now, Smiley. Now, you know what? I have a nice picture of us that we took some year, a, a few years back. It's probably at Bethesda Blues. Very mm-hmm. nice picture. I'm going to see if I can get it and post that up. Come on now and post that picture. <laughs> we were, look, we were slim and trim. We were slim and trim. <laughs> You're always beautiful no, no matter what size. Oh, my I God. Mean. Thank you so much. Now, look, I got to ask you, what's, what's the story behind uh, Spur of the Moment's name? Okay. Here's the deal. So you'll hear... I've heard so many stories out there that aren't true that are not coming from band members. It's funny. Really? So, so tell me, let's clear it up. <laughs> let's clear it up. This is for the record. I was at the University of Maryland and um, my mentor at the University of Maryland with Jay Otis Williams would call me to do like little shows for campus, like little like cocktail hours and I would call the same cats. And he was like, I need a name. One day he was like, I need a name of the band. And he said, you always doing stuff on the spur of the moment. I said, <laughs> well, that's the name of the band spur of the moment. I love said, it. There it is. It. And there well, it is. Wow. That's the original story. That's the truth. So are those the same cats that you were playing with in Maryland? Are those the core members? The original? Core members, I mean, uh, at that time. So at that time, it's a little interesting. We used to use Michelle Johnson. Mm-hmm. The world knows yes. her as Michelle yes. Indegiacello. Yes. Uh, Kenny. Kenny was around Kenny Allen. Uh, our saxophonist was uh, Bruce Williams. Uh, and he he played early on, and then Brian took his place, and then Wardell Thomas was the drummer. I mean, Wardell was a young, <laughs> young University of Maryland student who who really played well, and uh, that's how it started. You know, but you know what? I used to go and hear you guys way back when at uh, Silver. Uh, what is it? Silver Shadows. Yeah, Columbia. Mm-hmm. You guys. Used to, oh my gosh! Yes, I, man. I looked forward to that. Those were the days. <laughs> So you know y'all gotta you know y'all gotta do a, a, a 30th anniversary celebration for the for the people we'll here. We'll do it. We'll do it 30 plus one. 30 for the plus one. Okay, okay. For the peoples. So you wanna uh, you wanna shout out your brothers? I know they probably yeah. Do. I wanna sh- yeah. I wanna shout out my brother, uh, Kevin Kojo Prince. He you know like DC Kojo, Gordy. Know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice beard there, young man. He's carrying around. I think it's tattooed on. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> give a shout out to Mark Walker. We call him Mark Lord Have Mercy Walker. You Lord know, Lord Have Mercy. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> when he put it down, and then we got the drummers. So you'll hear, you'll hear Jay JJ Williams. You'll hear Tim Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. Shout him out. We want to shout out Wardell Thomas, the incredible. The foundation, the the original Wardell Thomas, 
also Mike Reed, who you may see him with Janet Jackson now. So okay. those are those have been the drummers in the band. And 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 I like to shout out my brother Kenny, Kenny Smooth Kenny. We used to call him Pretty Kenny. Now he's pretty <laughs> old Kenny. <laughs> he gonna get you for Alan. that. <laughs> Baby <laughs> face. <laughs> right. And you know, our saxophone is everybody, Bruce Williams. Uh, we got this, the Skip Pruitt, you know, mm-hmm. Skip, the Skip Pruitt experience, Skip Pruitt, and um, Brian Late here. I mean, Lanier, Brian Lanier. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, I mean, I shout out all of them. Did I miss nice. anybody? I, ho- I hope not. If I missed anybody, charge it to my head, not my heart. Now we got. Now we do have to mention uh, the, the the spare wives because you know the sport spur the moment wives because they always there supporting you guys oh, all on our the wives, road. So man, don't make what? me don't That's make me right. go through all the names because you're gonna man. be in, you, yeah yeah. I love we ain't gonna go through the names, wives. but we gotta we gotta shout the ladies out. You know, all the ladies, everybody, yes. everybody, because yes. you know trying to remember everybody's names when you put me on the spot. Is I, know, I know, I know. I, I'm you sorry. You see people and think <laughs> about people. Just, I'm going, I'm going, when I see you, Smiley, I'm going to get you for this one. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but, uh, it's cool, man. Yeah, our, 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 our wives, are, oh, look, I forgot Eric Parker, man. How can I not shout out Eric Parker on Keys and, and, and a writer on the record, man? Come on now. Okay. On. I mean, okay. he's in L.A., so he actually commutes here for gigs. Yeah. LA. So that's that's let's shout out Eric. That's real Parker brotherhood. What's up, yeah. Eric? And yeah, shout out Eric Parker, man. I, Eric I apologize. Parker. Just LA Eric. Okay. Yeah. Just go to the <laughs> later part of this uh <laughs> I shouted him out more and his wife, okay. Jazzy Jazzy. And uh we got everybody, man. Uh, okay. I mean Gina, Gina Prince and 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 see you done got me. I'm sorry. Names. Listen, all the spur wives. We, we appreciate you. Wives. Nicole, <laughs> my wife, Melissa. I mean, come on, man. Ron Dini, Ron Rhonda Walker. Come on, man. Why you got me? Going uh, okay, lo- okay, okay. Let's start. See? Let's start. So look, let me you know, I gotta ask you, you know, we're What's celebrating that? black music month. What does it mean to you? You know, just the whole music celebrating black music and our heritage and all that we do and all that we contribute. <laughs> now now it's funny. We call it black music, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, what people fail to realize that black music, what we call black music, is American music. Mm-hmm. And that music, uh, all music you hear in America, just about, comes from black people or came from black people. And you can go look at the records, you can go research and do everything. I mean, from country and western to folk music which came from Ireland and Africa because the banjo is an African instrument so you know and thank you for that because a lot of people don't know that so banjo is an African instrument and then you know R&B there is no rock and roll without Chuck Berry without Muddy Waters without Go you know now. you know the blues and there is no blues without Robert Johnson so all those musics uh, really uh, come from other places. And the only music that was developed here is this music of jazz and rhythm and blues and blues. And that's developed from b- black people, people of color, people of African descent here in America. So to salute black music, you really salute American music, period. And that's it. Well, thank you for that. I told you, my listeners, you know, I have some smart guests. And as I told you, you, you're going to learn on this show. So thank you for breaking that down so eloquently. I appreciate that. Now, I want you to tell us, uh, you know, about Spur of the Moment. You guys have some new music coming out. So Spur of the Moment, we still have music left over. I got a catalog of music. <laughs> yeah, we still have the In Too Deep album. Go look it up, In Too Deep. Uh, and we have a record with it. Famous now, Moo Moo Fresh, mm-hmm. My Moon and Yousef, Between Me and You. And we have another record called Move On. And every, I mean, th- these are records that, that we, this record was created a few years ago, but it's still relevant. So mm-hmm. go pick that record up and you owe it to yourself. In Too Deep, Spur of the Moment, go pick it up, stream it, download it, the whole routine. Just okay. pay for it. <laughs> now tell, now tell the folks where they can follow you. They want to follow you. Keep they want to follow us. At, mm-hmm. uh, you can go to our website, thespurtomomentband dot com. You can follow us on uh, 
on uh, Facebook at Spur of the Moment Jazz. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at, at Spur of the Moment Band and uh, on Twitter at the same place. All right. All right. Now, before you leave, you know, I got to have some fun. This whole interview was fun, but I want to have some fun. You ready for some fun? <laughs> Come on now. Now, we're going to play a quick game. It's called Pick One. Now, a lot of my guests, they won't give me two and three answers, but it's called Pick One. So, you know, you ready? Yep. Come on. All right. What you drinking? What kind of liquor you drinking? White or brown? Brown. All right. All right. Merlin crab cakes or Philly cheesesteaks? Maryland crab cakes. Now, you know you better say that. All right. Last question. If you had the opportunity to hit the stage with, with one of these, who is it going? Who are you going with? Jimi Hendrix or Prince? Hendrix. All right. Ding, ding, ding. He answered all the questions. Thank you, sir, for hanging out with me today in the zone. It was so nice. And uh, listen, again, shout out your uh, shout out your uh, your 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 uh, social media pages again. Come on, Spur of the Moment Jazz at Facebook. That's on Facebook. At Spur of the Moment Band on all other social media platforms. The Spur of the Moment Band dot com. Come on by that music. We want to thank Smiley J in the Artist Zone. And I'm happy to be here. This is Wayne Bruce, Spur of the Moment in the Artist Zone. Thank you so much, sir. And you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll see you at the 30 plus one. 30 Spurs plus celebration. one. <laughs> there you go. All right. All, all right. Peace. Peace. Hi, I'm Brittany Atterbury, and you're in the Smiley J Artist Zone. Oh, my gosh, that was so much fun. Yes, indeed. Special thanks to today's guest, Mr. Wayne Bruce, for sharing a piece of his music life and also sharing some of those special moments and stories with some of his industry friends. And he also dropped some really good jewels about black music, American music, that is. So uh, be sure to follow Spur of the Moment on their social media pages and also be on the lookout, you know, for their announcement as they announce their 30 plus one celebration in the business, which is going to be a live and virtual event because, you know, they got to reach the people worldwide. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and end the show on a little bit of Spur of the Moment's music in 2D. Y'all know the drill. Until next time, be well, stay safe. And remember to listen to good music. Your ears will thank you for it. I'm Smiley J, and I'm out. of the future My path now bears a simple truth No need for wasted tears All my thoughts now crystal clear and set on what it is that I must do I'm further now than when I started Forced to believe beyond my means both stronger now and more Determined I've resolved to follow to wherever this may lead I'm in too deep I can't, I can't let go I can't let go I've come too far to turn and They may think I still believe in this dream I can only be what has been promised My faith the sum of ordered steps But my impatience only leaves Room for doubt, it seems All that I need now is to believe I no longer count the days in passing 
I've made my peace with yesterday Now looking forward I believe More strongly in that which I've seen Is far beyond what many dare to dream I'm in to do That I'm in too deep to turn and run. No, 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 no. I, won't. I won't. I can't stop. No matter what they think. No matter what they may think. Said I still believe. I still believe. So I hold on. Than ever before. These tests and trials are proof that I was run alone. I keep holding on. My heart is fixed on all that I see. Oh, I'm to deep. Oh, said I'm in trouble. I've come too far to turn. Gotta keep on, gotta keep moving now. 